What's up guys, my name is Bucky and welcome to your very first video tutorial in how to make games with Construct2. Now, actually before I even get started teaching you guys stuff, I want to mention that if you're watching this video on YouTube, make sure that you're watching it in full screen and also 1080. If you just watch it in that little YouTube player, you're probably not going to be able to see what's going on at all. So again, full screen, 1080, that's what I'm recording in and if you do that, everything is going to be crystal clear. So if you just click this video because you guys want to know, you know, how to make some games, then you are in luck because what Construct2 is, is it's a piece of software that you can install on your computer. I actually have it uh, downloaded and installed right there. But it's more than just a piece of software. It's actually an entire game engine. Now what I mean by that is this. Way back ago, whenever they first started making like Nintendo games, say the person who uh, was making Super Mario Brothers. He made the game and he made a function where Mario could jump, run left and right, and hop on monsters. Well then, another guy who was creating another game, he made a function where the dude could jump, run left and right, and jump on monsters. And people kept doing this over and over, and they are like, you know what, maybe we should stop coding the basic crap over and over and over again and just save it in one specific file so we can reuse it when, wherever and then we can concentrate on you know the good stuff of the game like the graphics the logic the story cool stuff like that so that's what construct2 allows us to do so the first thing that we need to do is of course download it now it's actually really easy to download and install so I'm not gonna you know, take you guys through the process of clicking next, 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 next a hundred times. That's all you do. But I, I do want to talk to you guys about the different licenses. If you're just watching these tutorials and you want to test it out, that's fine. Just go ahead and download this free edition. You download this and, uh, you know, just pretty much click on the file, install it on your computer, and then you're going to have an icon like this. I'm actually using this uh, personal edition license and the reason is because you know I'm not a company or anything I'm just going to be using it myself on my own computer however if you ever want to think about selling these games and it says it right here if you ever think you're going to make more than 5,000 bucks in revenue then you need the business one but again I'm using the personal one you can get the free one it doesn't really matter so go ahead and download the free version and then once you have it downloaded open it up by double clicking it and the very first thing you're gonna see is this and also if you uh, have the free version it's gonna say okay you should upgrade enter your information right here but I have the personal one like I said so that's why my uh, info is popping up right here and the first thing you want to do is you want to start a new project so click this and then you can just go ahead and click new empty project and hit open never seen okay what the heck game are we even going to create? Well, for these uh, first couple videos, I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to make this game right here. So this game right here is if you press up, down, left, right on your mouse. And you can also click with your mouse to shoot. And of course, if a monster runs into you, you die. This was actually a game created by, I believe they're one of the employees who uh, work on this program right here. But they made a tutorial on this a while ago, and it was kind of outdated. So I just wanted to talk you guys through this tutorial one more time. And also, it was a text tutorial, so I had to read it, which kind of sucked. But anyways, that's what game we're going to be making. And um, if you watch it now, then everything's up to date. You know, um, the tutorial that they made, this it was on like the software that was made back in 2010. So that's what we're going to be doing. So if you're wondering, all right, looks like a pretty cool game, but where do I get all those images? Well, lucky for you, if you go to, and I'll put this link below the video. If you go to this link right here, it's going to take you to my forum. And I have all of the images right there. So you can just go ahead, click, save as, click, save as. There's actually one, two, three, four, five images, which is the background and all the other stuff you need for the game. And then just go ahead and save them in a folder called game or anywhere on your computer. And uh, when the time comes, I'll teach you guys through how to use each one of those images. So basically, click on the link below, download all of those to your computer, save them. Make sure that you have a Construct 2 download. The free version is fine. And also, make sure that you created a new project. And then once you have everything set up, 
you can go ahead and uh, watch the next video where we're actually going to be starting to build the game itself. And guys, I also want to mention that if you have no experience in HTML5 or no experience in programming at all, it's absolutely fine. I'm going to, um, I mean, it's better if you do, but these tutorials are aimed at just someone who wants to learn how to make a basic game and wants to learn how to get started with Construct 2. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and uh, well, I'll see you guys in the next video.